Eyewitness Sports right now. Good evening, I'm Brennan Miller with Eyewitness Sports. Today marked the beginning of Section 3 baseball and softball sectional championship games with a pair of local teams in action on the baseball side. Those teams looking for Class A and Class D titles at Onondaga Community College. Going in order of the games played, the Class D ship was up first with Ariskany, the seventh seed in the bracket, taking on the top seeded Belleville Henderson Panthers with that game starting at noon. So how did the Ariskany team get to this point? Well, after finishing 10-4 and four in the regular season but winning the Center State Conference Division 4, the team earned just the seventh seed in the Class D bracket by virtue of having only 10 wins. So while the record wasn't outstanding, taking a closer look, you'd see that three of their four losses were to Class C teams and that they had wins over a handful of teams that were seeded above them. Six seed West Canada Valley, three seed Morrisville Eaton, and two wins over second seeded New York Mills. All those teams were put on the same side of the bracket as well, so the path to the title game would be a familiar one who for whoever made it out of that side. For Ariskany, that path did involve two of those teams they'd beaten before. After a 15-4 win over 10-seed Fabius Pompey, they then traveled to New York Mills, defeating the Marauders 10-3 on the back of Eddie Wright's 6 and a third innings pitched before taking down West Canada Valley at a neutral site. Renane Field 10-5 with Chase Koenig pitching a complete game. So today's contest with one seed Belleville Henderson would be a challenge, but after three scoreless innings, the lower seed pushed across a run with their first hit of the contest coming from Jack Tamburino, and that's all that they needed to secure a 1-0 victory and the Class D title. The path doesn't get any easier going forward, though risking these first game in the state tournament, the defending Class D state champions deposit Hancock of Section 4. The second game of the day involving an area team was in Class A, although not the squad that carried the banner for the Mohawk Valley in the class all regular season long. That team was Whitesboro, who won the Tri-Valley League, finished 15-4 and in the regular season, and with that secured the top seed and a bypass the play-in first round of the Class A bracket. They became the most recent victims, though, of the rest versus rust debate, falling to ninth seed at East Syracuse Manoa in their first contest. The run for ESM didn't last long, though. They lost their next game to the team now playing for the sectional title fourth seeded New Hartford. Spartans finished the regular season 9-7, and seven, including a loss to Whitesboro and losses to Class B, Camden, and South Jefferson. But it turned it on at the right time, defeating ESM 7-2 in the semis after taking down fifth seeded Oswego in the first round 5-4. They played a Jamesville DeWitt team that was supposed to get to this point, the two seed that had cruised, defeating their two sectional opponents, Fulton and Indian River, by a combined score of 21-2. And they continue their solid defensive and pitching performances, not allowing New Hartford to get a run across and scoring five of their own. Now the Rams win it, and they'll have a sub-regional come the state tournament, having to play Section 10's Franklin Academy before Section 2's Columbia in the regional. For now, that's all for sports. Check out CMIHomepage.com for your top sports stories. Some eyewitness news coming up right after the break.